we have no earthly idea what our first night in Seoul holds. <laughs> Today we're going to focus more on uh, the mountain itself. So we're at Durka Mountain, the River Run Base Camp at the moment. So uh, Amy did ski school yesterday, so we're going to take her up with Lauren and I. We're going to see how that goes. Hopefully well, if she stops. Stopping is good. All right, so directly behind us is the River Run Gondola, which is what our primary is going to be to get up on the mountain. It takes you up to the Durkham, not Dekram. It takes you up to the Durkham peak or the summit which is kind of the hub of everything up on the mountain. There are two other peaks. Um, there's nothing but blues and blacks on them. So if for some reason I can get to those, then I'll take you guys along. Otherwise, uh, Lauren and Amy aren't gonna be skilled enough to do the blues and blacks. So um, I'll maybe test the blue today, depending on how today goes. And if I can make it to the other summits, I definitely will. So we are on the gondola, which takes you from the base at River Run all the way up to the summit of Durka Mountain, which takes approximately 12 minutes and just want to give you guys a quick uh, update, a few stats on the mountain. The whole Keystone Resort is on over 3,000 acres and it's the largest in Summit County. The elevation at the base is just over 9,000 feet above sea level and the elevation up here at the top of Durkham Mountain is just over 12,000 feet above sea level. So, quick little game in 12 minutes. Um, but anyways, that's it. So yesterday, Amy actually went to ski school and we're gonna have her kind of talk about how she liked it and what she learned and whether or not she thought it was a good thing or if she would have rather just tried it on her own and figured it out from there. I thought it was pretty good because if I tried to do it on my own I know I would probably fall a lot because I didn't know how to sidestep or do the deck walk so I'd be falling on my face but they taught me a lot of good things and people were really nice and I did pretty good I just need to work on stopping and slowing down but other than that did you like your instructors? Yes. Did you have one or two? I had one. How many kids were in your class? In my class, it was about nine kids. Nine kids. Did you feel like you got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, or oh, was yeah. it just kind of talking at you guys either? Oh, no. He gave us one-on-one -on -one time okay. and told us, like, he wanted us to try more um, turns and stuff like that. Do you think that doing that gave you more confidence to go down some runs with us today? Yes. So just for reference, ski school here, you can do half day, you can do half day or full day. Amy actually did the full day, which is from like 9 a.m. or about that until 3.30. So they spend the whole day on the mountain. They even get fed lunch. So it was a solid day's work for her. What'd you have for lunch? Chicken tenders. <laughs> I had a peanut butter jelly sandwich <laughs> and it cost money. You had to pay $200 for ski school. That's true. Those are $200 chicken tenders. <laughs> $240. Were they the best $240 chicken tenders of all time? They could have been better. <laughs> so they were like $10 chicken tenders. Yeah. Well, $10 on a mountain chicken tender. We got our own bowls of ketchup. Oh. That makes it worth it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, Amy, you ready to do this run right here beneath us? Uh -huh. No, no, no. Which I is a. Uh, what? No, you would just like, fall down the well. I would just die. Tuck and roll. Yes. We'll get down eventually. All right, so welcome to the top of Durkham Mountain. And just to kind of show you guys around, um, this is Summit House here. And that's where, that's where the restaurant is. Right behind us is the gondola. And um, that's what we just rode up on. There's also a chairlift right over there. And then behind Ryan over here, there's two other lifts that take you to kind of some more difficult type runs. And then there's the Ranger lift, which kind of runs up and down the Bunny Hill. So lots of options when you get to this point, and it doesn't hurt that the views are spectacular. And we're actually going to head over to the Ranger lift now, and that's yeah. what we're going to work on. Miss breaks over there. We're going to get Amy some breaks on her skis. See how that goes. We are all wrapped up with skiing for the day. We skied for 
a lot longer than we did uh, yesterday and we got Amy up and down the bunny hill quite a few times and helped her with a few weaknesses she had mainly stopping uh, but we got that kind of <laughs> improvement we're not gonna call it good but we got that a lot of improvement and then we took her down school marm just like we did yesterday so it was a really good experience for her she is tired but it was another beautiful day we couldn't have asked for it to be better so we did that got some lunch and up next we're going tubing <music> We just got done tubing. What do you think? It was fun. fun. It's a lot of fun. It's cold. <laughs> How many Griswold Christmas vacation references did we get to? Three? I managed to get in three. Three. So. You're welcome. Again. <laughs> All right. So we are done with tubing. We are heading back down the mountain. Yes. And then we're gonna go grab dinner at Kickapoo Tavern. Yes. We actually ate there the first night, mm -hmm. but I was exhausted and didn't film anything. So we'll do that tonight. And they had a really big variety, so we can all go and get something different. Right. So we'll do that, yep. and then we're calling it night because we're, we're gonna night. watch some of the night skiing. They have night skiing oh, that's here, right. and so we want to show you a little bit of that. We're not going up onto the mountain, but we just kind of wanted to show you uh, some of the runs that they have open. Yep. So anyway, I think that'll be our first non GoPro video in like days. Yeah. <laughs> so um, awesome. All right. Well, let's go to dinner. We just got back to the condo, had a great long day. Um, you know, got up reasonably early. I got a little bit of work done. We got ready, grabbed Amy. Uh, we actually headed up the gondola, did the skiing for a little while. Got Amy all the way down school marm, which was great. Uh, Lauren had another great day. Uh, after that, we came back, just kind of rested a little bit. Um, you know, when you start skiing and doing, you're burning a lot of calories, you're kind of active all the time and you start to get kind of sore. Um, I don't have the greatest knee in the world. So, you know, it started to hurt. So. We came back, relaxed a little bit, um, kind of walked around the village just a little, little bit, got some souvenirs, a little, some trinkets here and there, a nice little coffee mug. And then we went tubing, which was great. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. You actually picked up some pretty good speed, um, but had fun tubing. And then we ate at Kickapoo Tavern. It's been a really, really great day. So we hope everybody enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.